Hello world, my name is Nick360 and welcome back to Prison Architect. In today's episode, we're going to do a little bit of cleaning up in our prison to make it run more efficiently. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some walkways so we can change the floor. So right now this is just dirt. All the rooms and all of the ground is the standard default stuff. But if we go to materials, there's a lot of different options that we can use. And each of them will have their different effect and their different cost. So we're going to start with using concrete tiles and we are going to put a pathway all the way through our prison. By doing this, we can allow people to get from one area of the prison to the other. And since it's concrete tile, it'll allow people to go on it faster. Now, I like to have my showers look nice. And just for contrast, we could put for white tiles in our shower. And that will make our shower look nicer. Because showers, you usually have tiles in them. Now, if you look in some of our rooms, they're very dirty. So we're going to do some more research. And we are going to research cleaning. And we're going as well research ground keep keeping at the same time. Both of them will do similar things in that they'll keep the prison neat and tidy. Now we can just go faster. Uh, with speed up time will allow us to just not have to wait as long. And now look at what look at the shower. Look at how ni nice and neat the shower appears now that the uh, now that it has the nice floor in it. And it just kind of makes it easy to see what's in this room because then all the rooms kind of blend together. And so it's hard to tell what's a kitchen, what's a canteen. Everything kind of just blends together. So just putting a little bit of tiles in uh, helps not only your prison run more efficiently, but it also helps you figure out what's happening in your prison a little bit more efficiently. All right, cleaning is going to be wrapping up very shortly. And as soon as cleaning is completed, we will have a new staff member that we can hire. And that will be the janitor. And let's put the janitor in this dirty room here. Uh, and of course, if you look, you can see they cost a little bit of money per day, but we're still making extra money. So that's not going to be too big of a problem. Uh, it's actually our janitors head straight to the kitchen and look at it as it cleans up the floor. This is really important to have a couple janitors in your prison just cleaning up everything. It makes it look nice uh, because it, the prison will get dirty just like any building in real life, uh, especially if it's being used by dozens and dozens of people. And we expect to get more and more prisoners as the game progresses. So hiring a couple janitors will greatly help improve the quality of your prison. Environment is actually a need. So how clean their environment is will actually affect how will affect their needs. So living in cleaner rooms will lead to a happier life for the prisoners. So while we're waiting for our foreman to finish researching groundskeeping, we can put a couple more different tiles in. So we can, I'm just going to experiment with different uh, ones just to see how they, they just look. I mean, you can just, there's no real, I mean, aside from some tiles making you move faster or slower, it really just, it's just all for looks. So you can see that this tile looks, you know, it's, it's it seems like a common tile that you expect in a prison. Uh, this seems like something that belongs in a basketball court. I like to put these metal ones in the workshops. I just like to imagine the workshops have these tough metal floors, just the really durable. And then fancy rooms, I like to put that in chapels um, or sometimes a parole room just to have a contrast with the rest of the prison, kind of symbolic. And now that we our research is done, we can actually um, research, a, um, not research, but we can hire our gardener. And that gardener is basically like the janitor, but for the outside. So it's going to clean up all these, these muck and gunk on the outside. These probably like leaves if you're some kind of deciduous uh, fall-like or autumn-like area where the leaves are falling because, you know, it's getting colder for before winter. You know, someone needs to take care of that. And so the gardener can do that. Now I'm looking like I'm a little short of money. So I'm going to try and make some money by doing this grant here. Um, and actually, I already have room for 16. So if I click this, I already get the $20,000 for the advance and $20,000 for completing it. So that actually gave me a huge boost in money just very quickly. All right, here and here, now that we did those research, we can actually do that grant. And I believe we completed that grant as well. So those are the things you can look forward to is these grants. If you forget what the details of are for uh, cleaning, you can look to these grants to help point you in the right direction. And before in, in our last episode, we did something like this. Now, if we go to our to do list, we need to sign three prisoners to work in the clean cupboard. So if we go to logistics work, we don't have a clean cupboard. So all we need to do to complete this grant is to put in a clean cupboard. So we're just going to create a small room. Uh, so that we can do that. And while we're waiting for that, we are going to research deployment. Now, deployment also helps your prison run much more efficiently. 
Uh, deployment lets you deploy guards into certain areas of the prison and have them stand there, have them stand guard. Right now, all the guards are just kind of wandering around aimlessly. There's a couple of rooms they tend to want to hang out in, but it's not really great if you want a specific area to have a higher security level, um, or not necessarily a higher security level, but just have more protection. The workshop is an area you just want to be protected. The laundry can cause a little bit of trouble. Uh, we really don't need it in the shower or the common room. Uh, but areas where the prisoners are not supposed to go, it's nice to have one guard in there just to make sure that no prisoners are going into areas they're not supposed to and causing trouble. And since we're going to clean up a prison, I'm going to go and fence off this area here so the prisoners do not ha tamper with our electrical and water supply. So we're just going to put that there. I'm just going to put a staff door so our workers can later come in if they need to do maintenance or need to put in more of these capacitors. Also, just for safety's sake, I'm going to put in a wall between uh, between this pump and this electric generator. That way, if ever there's a malfunction with the pump, water won't spill out into their electric generator. And that just keeps it more, a little bit more safe. We're just going to put a door um, up near the top so the water would have to go up and around and that would just make it a little harder for problems to happen and it just makes it more secure. Now this is a little out of date. Before you could just use lockup and they would prisoners would sleep, but now that's not going to work anymore. So hopefully our prisoners will be able to rest because right now the temperature is rising because if we look at our needs, no one's getting any sleep because I um, formerly um, would just have lockdown instead of sleep and I just changed that so that they can get sleep. I actually might if I might actually want to see if this works if they'll sleep in the middle of the day. I'm just going to give a little bit of sleep and see what happens. See if all the prisoners go to sleep, take a nap. Uh, we can check to see if they are just by looking at their needs and seeing if anyone's um, going to try and meet that need. And so far, everyone's going to comfort, which means they're laying down in their beds, but no one's really going to sleep. So that's, I mean, not good for now, but later tonight, everyone's going to go to sleep and hopefully no one will die by then. So that's always a great thing to look out for. On well, it's work time, so anyone who has a job is going to go and go and do that job. Let us finish up this room here um, quickly, and then let's just move on. Now this is just going to be a cleaning cupboard, and I like having a little bigger cleaning cupboard, so we can just look for cleaning cupboard. There we go. And then now we can go to our logistics, uh, prison labor. There we go. Now I have lots of prisoners being able to work in the laundry and work in the clean cupboard. So everyone, if they have the ability to, everyone should have the ability to have a job. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, um, prisoners will make money depending on their jobs. Uh, so that actually you will lose money the more prisoners you have working. Well, it looks like there was a fight over here. Now we have an un unconscious prisoner. He must have uh, initiated the fight somehow because he's getting locked down and solitary. And if, if we look under misconduct, he tried to escape, he tried to destroy some of the stuff, he attacked staff, and he was found with weapons. So he probably attacked a staff member with a weapon. And if we look, these guards are injured. So he probably tried to attack one of these guards because he's really grumpy. Uh, and again, the temperature is rising because I, no one's been getting sleep because I had it on, uh, had the, the regime with no sleep in it. So everyone's going to be going to the yard, so the yard's a good way to help them meet all their other needs. And as you can see, temperature is going down. So we're doing a little bit of cleanup. And before we finish this episode, let's go in to make the yard grass. That'll make it look nice and neat. Some of these can only be used outside, so grass can only be used outside. I can't do grass indoors, so I can't take the kitchen and make it grass. Uh, that'd probably not be very sanitary. So maybe that's for the best. Likewise, I can't have the dirt floor canteen. And the canteen has to be inside, so you can't have that. And there we go. Now that everyone's sleeping, the temperature in the prison went way back down. So that's kind of how you solve a problem. You look at, oh, the temperature's rising. You go figure out what the need is that needs to be addressed. And then you address it. And look at how nice this is just to have different color stuff. It's not the same gray squares over and over and over again. There's a little bit of contrast. And then because of this, it has a lot more efficient walkway. So one last thing before we do, before we finish up this episode, I'm going to put this jail door here. I'm going to go to deployment that we researched and we're going to do guards. So when you go into deployment, you can deploy a guard in an area. So if you click on it, a little circle with the guard on it will appear. And if it's filled in blue, that means a guard is standing stationary there. Now let's say I do this a bunch. If I do this like a lot, 
I, this is actually too much, but you can see some of them are gray and some of them are blue. If it's gray, that means that I have a sign for a guard to work here, to stand here and stand guard, but no one is doing so at the time. So right now I have four guards standing here, which is, these are all my guards. These are all four of my guards. And so if you look up here, I have four guards, but four of them are stationed. So I have zero that are available to do other tasks. So I have zero that are able to go and open the doors in the rest of the prison. So I don't want that. And if you right click, I can get rid of them. And I'm not going to want anyone in the workshop for now, but I will want one person right here. So now this guard will stand here and walk back and forth and open doors for everyone. Now these are, uh, these are jail doors. So these are much more secure than other types of doors in the prison. So this is much more secure than the staff door. Now because I have a guard here, this actually is gonna run much more efficiently because now those workers don't have to wait for a guard to come somewhere in the prison. It's just somewhere from in this small hallway. And because there's always a guard here, if a prisoner ever is trying to escape or a bunch of prisoners are trying to escape, I'll have at least one guard here to at least alert, alert the player that, you know, oh, there's a problem here. And this will maybe give you enough time to call your emergencies and call in a riot police so make sure they don't escape that's also another reason why I like to have um, these these walls here is because it's really hard for prisoners to break through these kinds of walls for the make that make up the buildings you can build walls like this too uh, so let's say and so these doors are actually the easiest place to get through the prison but now there's a guard here and even if they break through then there's this area here which is already closed off so this is a very very secure prison it isn't the most secure prison that it could be but this puts safety first and there we go, that will really improve the quality of this prison, at least in terms of safety, security, and efficiency. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, put a, uh, put a comment down below. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time.